Hey, hey everybody, Dina Morrow here, coming to you from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It might rain, but that's okay because I brought my umbrella. So guys, if you're catching this live, say hello. If this is a replay, hashtag triple D. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. So I wanted to jump in and share some really amazing news. Also, I wanted to just kind of share some mindset with you guys because I know that some of us might be going through a little bit of hardship right now. I know some of us might be, you know, struggling right now. I, 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 I'm not going to downplay any of this, but I do want to jump in and give you guys a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of mindset. Thanks, Jan. If you guys are catching this live, as I said, hashtag uh, triple D, hashtag live or hashtag triple D, hashtag replay. Let me know what's going on. Let me know where you're coming in from. I see a lot of you guys jumping on. I think it's probably because of my title. So as my title said, break up, moving in with my parents and how I reached an amazing rank with my company in the past 30 days. So I wanted to share a little bit about that. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the personal stuff, but as you can probably expect, uh, this has been a hard couple months. It's been a hard couple of months for a lot of us who obviously are living this, you know, pandemic right now. You know, our lives have been changed. Well, I kind of went through a little bit of something right before the pandemic hit. Basically, I uh, went through a breakup and had to make a decision uh, which brought me to be living back at home with my parents. It took me a little while to accept the fact that um, this was actually my reality right now and a lot of a lot of shame a lot of guilt again I'm not gonna go into detail and I'm not gonna get all emotional about it but you know what guys I could have chosen to hey thanks for saying hello I could have chosen to curl up in a ball feel sorry for myself loathe and self-pity I could have really just um, kind of given up on it, on, 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 you know, on my goals. One of my main goals with this company, as some of you have seen my journey, as I've been sharing my weight loss journey, was sharing uh, what I did, um, sharing these products, sharing how they changed my life, sharing how they're changing other people's lives. Thanks, Julia. And really, I wanted, um, I wanted to make an impact. I wanted to change lives. And as, as well... Um, as I'm sharing my journey of uh, coming back home with my parents, with my children, going through, you know, sh shared, shared uh, custody is not always fun, but I decided, I made a decision that I wasn't going to let my circumstances at the moment change my future and, and dictate my future, I should say, because it would have been really, as I said, it would have been really easy for me to give up, to, you know, um, feel sorry for myself, as well as I didn't want to show my kids as well that uh, when things um, when things go wrong or when things don't go as planned, the only solution is to give up and to, you know, kind of just, exactly, just kind of give up and just kind of feel sorry for yourself because because I did I did guys I went through it I, I felt sorry for myself there was again a lot of you know emotional stuff going going through a breakup and then of course <laughs> coming back with my parents at 37 years old that was a hard one but as I said I made a decision that I was going to continue continue to share my journey, continue to share my ups, continue to share my downs, not so much my downs because this is my first time actually really explaining what was going on uh, with my breakup and with moving my parents on my social media. I didn't really want to do that, but I felt hitting this goal, selling over $5,000 in product in 30 days was, I guess, really proving to myself as well as I wanted to, you know, share that with you guys that it is, um, it is possible to, to, to up, to rise up and to not let, as I said, your current situation dictate your future. And if I had decided the other way, and if I had said to myself, you know, you suck, you know, you're, you're not, you're not good enough. You're a loser. You're not, you know, you don't have anything to, to, to offer anyone in terms of value and in terms of mindset. Um, I wouldn't be on here right now. I wouldn't be sharing my story. I wouldn't be, um, 
I wouldn't be, be here giving you guys uh, an insp like inspiration, as I said, that you do not have to curl up and, and give up, that whatever your goals are, you just need to focus on those. And that, I think, thanks guys for the love, that, I think, really helped me get through this. And, I, and again, I'm still going through it. This is not, <laughs> this is not at all, um, it's been a couple months. So, um, it, I'm still going through it. But, as I said, um, I'm not gonna let it, um, I'm not gonna let it ruin me. I'm not gonna let it make me so low and so sad and so depressed that, that I just, I just give up. So um, I also um, just wanted to kind of share with you guys that I did do a little power video in my business group um, about how I accomplished this called Platinum One, uh, which is what they call it in my company. And what it is, is, you know, five, $5,000 in sales. And that to me represents how many lives I can change and how many people I can impact just by being on social media, sharing my life, sharing my journey, offering value. And that's really what this has been about, my journey with social marketing and network marketing. I didn't come from any big influence. I don't have a big following. I don't have a big influence, but it is possible for someone if you're like me or if you have similar, uh, you know, a similar story to me, um, just remember that if you are in business or if you are looking at, you know, doing something more, I know some of us are out of work now and I know some of us are maybe struggling, trying to figure out what the future is going to hold. But as I said, um, if you're someone that's maybe looking, looking for maybe looking for a solution like I was looking for a solution a few years ago I've only been in this network for a couple years now and uh, hitting this rank and hitting this huge accomplishment again uh, it just proves to me that if I can do it go and, and if I can do this going through um, the emotional um, state that I was going through the past uh, couple months imagine what I can do when uh, I'm not in that mindset. And again, I always try to be positive. I always try to come on, share positivity, let you guys know that, um, that yeah, life sucks. Things suck sometimes. Things don't go as planned. And, and it's, a, it's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. But there is always hope. And there is always going to be um, possibility. You just need to believe in yourself and you need to believe in possibility because it is possible. So I'm gonna get off because obviously uh, I've said too much, but again, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for being here. And um, I will see you soon. Bye.